Well, good morning, everybody. Crossroads B and T checking in, and we're uh, starting out with James today, 122. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Put that one in there, in your soul, and think about it today. We got a beautiful day. Sun's out, and guess what we're doing? Chore day, laundry. We keep these towels on the mule seats to keep them clean. It sure helps. Never realized how dirty it was. There's Solomon. Hey, bud. You want to be on camera? Well, good morning to you. Hey. You looking for your ball? Oh, yeah. He's looking for his ball. Got a little noise in the background. That's what we're doing here. We're all running off the solar batteries. Lots of solar. Get over here. I don't think we've ever showed you this before. Laundry day. Dirty, dirty clothes. This all runs, like I say, off the solar. Here's the spinner over here. And I've got this shirt separate just because it's long sleeve flannel and catches with everything and makes a knot. But that is just about dry. So uh, there's nothing more to wring out, just ready to air dry. What a blessing. And that's our, we got a whole week's worth of laundry. So that's what we'll be doing. And uh, since we're close to Kaylin's house, we're going to take the drying over to her. And that's what, slow down, Dan. That's what this laundry basket's for. That's her basket. And we're going to put it up here on the bike. Got a, a crate there, and that basket will fit right in. Take it over and get it dried. Had to use the generator for about an hour this morning just to get a charge because we've been having a lot of fog and overcast the first couple hours around here. So that's good for a backup, one at minimum. And we're in a, still in a work zone here. I just finished up most of the work I was doing on the refrigerator stand and there's boxes you know where they came from Sam's we also went to Sam's and loaded up and let's see we got lights on in here let's see what we do now well here's here's what we come up with we got rid of the old freezer that we're using for a fridge and now we've got a 10.1 cubic foot fridge and freezer combo. Wow, what a blessing. It's uh, working out great. We can store food like we're supposed to. <laughs> the other one worked good uh, since I already had it. But uh, when we built this, this tiny house, but this works better. And it's a good season in our life to have. I'm going to walk by here. I had to build it up because the inner fender sticks out about six inches. So I would have that would have been out six inches from the wall. So and to go along with this, everything's gotta have a multi-use. So what we got here is storage all the way back to the wall. And that's a nice blessing. We're gonna use that for probably our shoes. And uh, no matter what you build out here. It's like there's no place for the shoes and uh, so they're always in the way they take up a lot of room you got two three four pairs of shoes everywhere but uh I'll add a little shelf over here this has helped out a lot so now we can keep our our bags and stuff right at reach and that makes it easier I used to have them behind the stove over here and had to go fight for them and we're running on coffee and Jesus this morning. That's what we do. <laughs> Got that for a Christmas present. But just turned off the ice machine. We got a bunch of, bunch of clinkies going in the freezer now. And uh, unfortunately, this particular refrigerator freezer doesn't have an ice maker available. But that's okay. We got one right there. And we'll go back outside. It's been nice. We're getting 
pretty good solar here most of the time. Not quite like the desert, but that's okay. We can adjust between the desert and the mountains. Got some beautiful greenery around here. And there's the old freezer. That's going to go back to Kaylin. And uh, the prepper she is, she'll fill it up with something, I'm sure. But this is kind of a junky area right now. I'm still working on it. There's all the wood scraps. And I'm going to trim out that box a little bit still, and then we'll be done. And then where's our outdoor kitchen? And like I say, we, we're getting good solar now. Praise God. And uh, there's a little county airport right down here, so it's cool to watch the airplanes coming in. It's uh, actually entertainment for us. Come down the trail here, over to our other tiny house. See what's going on here. Oh, King Solomon's coming out to make sure it's all secure. Doing what he does best. And look who's here. Here's my bride. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Uh, just coming through, checking on you. Checking this out. Yep. Relaxing. Yep. Got recliners out here. Loving this life. The craze God. What more can you ask for? Not and much more. Got a beautiful property and we don't have to take care of it. That's, that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty nice right there. But, uh, yeah, we might be going to the beach for a few days. Yeah, too. we'll see what happens there, Lord willing. Yeah. And we got a little, this is our heat we use for uh, the tent. When it gets cool at night, we get in the 40s sometimes here, being winter in Florida. And we'll throw, fire up that little uh, flamethrower there, and it does wonderful. Flamethrower? Yeah, it throws awesome. some flames. But, well, let's see, we got the refrigerator, we got the... We got the wash machine, and I think that's about it for now. We'll uh, check out the dogs here and see what they're doing, as long as they're not doing nothing nasty. Making making messes, but I think they're all fixed up for now. But anyway, well, we'll let you go. Just thought we'd check in with you and show you our lifestyle here, back in the woods. Praise God. He gets all the glory for this. I'm just hanging on for the ride. And it's such a blessing. But we'll finish up with old glory up there. Anyway, I think it's time to sign off. So Crossroads DNT, checking out. If you would, like and subscribe. Leave a nice comment if you would. And, and praise God every day. All day. We love you. Miss you. Hope to see a lot of you soon. Bye-bye.